Hey guys, what's up? So today with me, I will be giving you a first look of AOL Reader. So, let's get started. I hope the intro wasn't too long, but anyway. So, AOL Reader. AOL has been making a recent comeback nowadays with um, some mail, like some mail applications. I also reviewed that. Alto Mail, I'll give an annotation box or something and uh click on it and watch the first look of that and if you like it sign up and because it uses gmail and yahoo now we have aol reader the replacement to google reader google reader was recently discontinued by google because of loss but re there was a huge outrage for some reason um if they if they were having a loss of users i, I really don't know why there was such an outrage but anyway so, AOL Reader, all your favorite websites in one place, in beta now. So, remember this is a beta, so there's going to be some glitches, and I'll explain something. So, let's just read. Customizable, so you can switch stuff, I'll show you. You can also star and tag your articles, which are kind of cool. And also, you have simple import, which is really good for people migrating from Google Reader. You can take your subscription file. So put it in AOL Reader and boom, all your subscriptions done. And for developers, we're going to get a free API that they have. They have a free API for web, desktop, and mobile as long as it's free right now for a while in beta. And they will begin more features like just like native iOS and Android app um, and some sharing within AOL Reader and notification search and integration with more services. So let's get started. So you can use Google, Facebook, Twitter, or an AOL account. Of course, if you still have an AOL account. But I'm going to use my Google, so let's get started there. And I already um, set it up, but when you set it up, it's going to say, like, um, um, we'll send you an email, click this link, blah, 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 and you should be good. Now, what's really cool here is on the home page itself, you see all your main feeds, or like you see your top five articles. I'd like there to be more articles, so I don't know why it's not like that. And also sometimes I don't see pictures, even though this article probably has a picture. Um, actually, it doesn't, so it's good. <laughs> it's good. It works. Okay. But anyway, let's just, let me show you around. Let's start at the right. So on the top here, we have uh, your username. You have about, sign out. And you have AOL stuff, and you have the search bar and AOL Reader all at the top. Now, um, at the right here on the on this side, we have unread, so you can see what you haven't read yet. And we also have recommend sources, so recommended sources, so like Huffington Post, Business Insider, and you can just click plus and add them immediately. So I like that. Now on the left is where most of what you need is. You'll see categories, which you can set up and I'll show you. And all, so you can see all your feeds, starred and home. And also, here you can uh, settings, organize, shortcuts, import, feedback, and help. So shortcuts, you can see all these. And um, settings, let's just see some settings. Start page, home or all, theme, dark or light. Hide categories and feeds with no unread articles. Show unread count next to each category and subscription. Font size. Confirm all. Confirm when all read. Confirm when unsubscribing. Confirm when deleting. So let's see how X large is. Hmm. It's not really bigger. Hmm. Okay then. <laughs> and now light theme just changes the search bar. Hmm. Not very interesting. Okay. Anyway, let's go back home. Okay. So. To add a feed, it's pretty easy. Like, just press Add Subscription. And here, you can search for what you need. So if I need a good one like Engadget, it'll just show me that. And then I can just press Plus, and it'll add it. Now, let me add something um, that I haven't added before. How about Samsung? Maybe there's Sam Mobile or something. Sam Mobile, sure. Sure, and we can just press plus. Then you can pick a category to add it to, so technology or a new category. 
and you can name this source custom. So subscribe. And sometimes it takes a while, so it's kind of weird. That's a glitch I'm having. I've been having it a lot, actually. Um, it takes a while, and then you have to press cancel, and you have to add it again. Even though sometimes it's already added, but yeah, you, you add it again. Okay. Now, for my website, for example, Dash for Tech, it's not searching it, so I'll do it right now. Tech blog. And you'll see it won't show up. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but it's kind of... Uh, I, I'm, I'm not happy at all. <laughs> oh, I found it. Okay. So apparently you have to add a space, which I don't understand. Maybe you should be able to uh, have no spaces and still should be able to find it, but it's okay. Now, just search that up. Please, guys. <laughs> Please, add my article. Search it. Read it. Love it. Okay, now, here is where you read everything. You, so you can press all, or technology is my category, for example. And here you can see on this side, you see a little eye and view options. So list view, card view, full view, pane view. So let us let me show you list view, not my favorite. You just click it, and it just gums up. And then you can press X or star or unread, star, unread. And share. The sharing options include post on Facebook, post on Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus, and Mail. So it's very social friendly. Good. And you can press read all. Mark all as read. Then it's going to ask me. Okay. Now let's go to other view. Let's say card view. Card view is my favorite so far. It looks really cool. And you just click it and it makes it like a little pop up window. I really like this. This is awesome. And you just press X, and you can press these arrows to go to the next one. So, woohoo. Woohoo. Anyway, full view. It just shows all the articles in a Google Plus like format, except without the columns. I like that too, but not my favorite. Then we have um, the last one is pain view. Pretty good one. I won't complain with it. You just, uh, it's like, it's like an Outlook kind of view. You know, Microsoft Outlook. Click, art click article, click article. Kind of like email. So it's pretty good in general. But, you know, eh, not as good. So I'm just going to set it to card view again. And for, it always moves, like, the location sometimes here, sometimes here. It's kind of weird. Um, you have to get used to that. So, yeah, this is my favorite. And... You also press reload to just reload your feeds. So in general, this is a very good alternative to Google Reader, but still needs time to be matured. There are still some glitches here and there, but it's okay. I think in a few, in a month or two, we should get all these glitches worked out, get an Android app running, an iOS app running, maybe even a Windows Phone app. Um, but yeah, we should be looking good on that side. So, thanks guys for watching, and please comment, please subscribe, and please like the video, and please share the video, of course. So, thanks guys for watching. Thanks guys. Bye.